So as we're in that Black Friday season and there's a few sales going on, I figured it was time to take a look at pitch correction in Logic using the Logic Pitch Correction plugin and a couple of alternative third-party pitch correction plugins or Autotune type plugins that you may want to look at as well. So first off, we're going to start off looking at the Logic Pitch Correction plugin, going to explain how it works, and we're going to test it out on some vocals and compare it to some other stuff. So right here, I have a vocal that we're going to be working with. Can we forget about the things I said when I was drunk? I didn't mean to call you that. I can't remember what was said or what you threw with me. All right, so that's the raw vocal we're going to be working with today. Now, normally before I would tune a vocal, I would probably edit it and edit out the breaths because sometimes those breaths can get tuned as well. You definitely want to probably do your breath edits before uh, doing your tuning. That being said, you want to put the pitch correction plugin on first. If you're going to use flex pitch, you want to do that first. If you want to see how flex pitch is used, I'm going to put a link in the description below to a tutorial that she Kim did uh, covering flex pitch. But today we're going to look at the plugin. So let's open up the Logic Pitch Correction plugin and take a look at that interface. 12v1 underscore 3, dialog. So I got the plugin open in controls view. So I'm just going to do VON to jump to the end of this window where the table is with all the parameters. Table. Reference. 0CT slider. 50% slider. Selected. And once again, if you're on a laptop, that's VOFN and the right arrow for VON. In table. Reference, 0CT slider, 50% slider. So I just interacted with the table, and the first parameter we have here is reference. You're probably going to leave this reference on 440, which is what it's set to, because by default, that's pretty much what music generally is done to. Now, if you're working with something where they use A equals 430 or 432 or 420 or something else, then you may want to set that reference here. But you would know if you're working on something like that. So you want to leave this on its default. Now, below this, if I VO down arrow, UC, off radio button, one of UC number, off radio, UC, off radio You're going to see a lot of these use, and it's going to list every letter in the musical alphabet. So I'm going to go down past this to the section that we really need to pay attention to here. Use D number, off radio, use E, off radio, use F, off radio, use F number, use G, off radio, use G number, use A, use A number, use B, off root note, none pop-up button. All right, so here we are. We have root note. Scale slash core type, chromatic pop-up button. Scale slash core type. Detune, 0 CT slider, 50% slider. Detune. Response, 122 millisecond slider, 34% slider. And response. So these four parameters are the core of what you need to pay attention to. Now, you saw we had use A, use B, use C, use D use D-sharp, etc. above, and that basically relates to the scale or key of the song. So the first thing you need to know when you're using a pitch correction plugin like this is what key the song is in. Now, by default, I'm going to go back up to the scale option here. Zero scale slash chord type, chromatic pop-up button. All right, so by default, this is set to chromatic, and chromatic basically means all the notes in the musical alphabet are legal. A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, etc. If you want this to do the best job possible, you want to set it to the key of the song. So in the case of this song, this song is in E major. So I'm going to change the scale from chromatic to major. Menu 43, item major scale. So there you see major scale. By the way, if you want minor scale, you want to go down to where it says major pentatonic. Minor pentatonic. Major add music flat sign 7 scale. Natural min scale. Natural min scale. So if you want to do a, like, say, A minor, then you'll select the natural min scale option here. So I'm going to go back up and select uh, major. Major, minor, major pentatonic. Major scale. Okay, major. So VO space on this. Press major scale. Scale slash core type. Major scale pop-up button. Row 15 of 34 cell 2 items. Root note. C pop-up button. And now this root note option becomes available. It was disabled before, but now it's available now that we selected something that's not chromatic. So now I'm going to select E. Menu 13 items, C number, D, D number, E, echo. So now I've set the scale of this to be E major. And if you go back up and look at these different notes above, you'll see that everything in E major is turned on. So use B, off radio button, one of two, use selected radio button, two of two. B is in the E major scale, so use B is on. Use A number, off selected radio button, one of two, use radio button, two of two. Whereas A sharp is off. Use A, off radio button, one of two, use selected radio button, two of two. A is on, so you see, now if case in point you knew that like even though you were in the key of E major and you were singing an A sharp instead of an A, you might want to set A sharp to be on and turn A off. And that's what all of this use stuff is. Now if you're not familiar with music theory, then don't worry about this stuff. Just what you got to do is figure out what key the song is in. There's a couple of different key finder tools out there. We'll talk about one of them a little bit later in this guide. 
All right, so. Use A number, off, use B, off, root node, e, scale slash core type, major scale pop-up button. So the bulk of setting up any um, pitch correction plugin is gonna be setting the key of the song. So once again, this is what it sounds like off. Can we forget about the things I said when I was drunk? didn't mean to call you that I can't remember what was said or what you threw with me Please tell me And on Select bypass Can we forget about the things I said when I was drunk I didn't mean to call you that I can't remember what was said or what with me please tell me all right so now let's look at the next parameter table, here scale slash core type detune zero ct slider 50 percent slider and that's detune now if your singer is constantly a little flat you can use detune to kind of push them up closer to the actual pitch that they're supposed to be singing so you want to use the positive value interact with this and vo right vo shift right to move in smaller increments and if your singer is constantly sharp, you can pull them back down a little bit. So you can interact with this and do VO shift left or VO left to move them back down closer to the pitch. And that will give a better chance of being able to correct them more naturally. Now, speaking of correcting them more naturally, the next parameter. Response, 122 millisecond slider. Response, now this parameter, response time, has to do with how natural the pitch correction sounds. This is called retune speed or note transition speed. Uh, it's got a different name in different pitch correction plugins, but in Logic, it's called the response time. And the slower the response time, the more natural it's gonna be. So by default, this comes up on about response time about 122, and that's a decent starting place. Now, if you want it to sound a little bit more natural, you can push that up, maybe 136, 142, you know, take it up a little bit. But if you want that hard tune, auto tune style effects, that T-Pain style effect, then you want to take the response time down. And I'll show you what that sounds like. So I'll interact with this and In slider, 44%. take this down 162.0 and take this all the way down to zero. And now if I play this, can we forget about the things I said when I was drunk? I didn't mean to call you that. Can't remember what you said or what you threw with me. And there you have it. So now if we take the response time back up. 12.44.95.8 millis 122 milliseconds. And this is where we started off at 122. Can we forget about the things I said when I was drunk? I didn't mean to call you that. I can't remember what was said or what you threw with me. All right, so there we have it. Now, as I was saying, you can probably take this up a little. 129 milliseconds, 136 milliseconds. Somewhere around here and see how this sounds. And I'll go from 136 up to the next option with your shift right arrow while it's playing. Can we forget about the things I said when I was drunk? I didn't mean to call you that. 143 milliseconds. I can't remember what was said or what you threw with me. Please tell me. All right, so that is the Logic Pitch Correction plugin. So the four parameters you want to pay attention to are going to be root note, e pop up button, root note, scale slash core type, major scale pop up button, scale and core type, detune, zero CT slider, 50% slider, detune, response, 143 millisecond slider, 37% slider, and response. So those are the four parameters you want to pay attention to in the pitch correction plugin. So now I'm going to bypass this. So I'm just going to close this window now here. Now, bypassed. So next we're going to open up Waves Tune real time. 12v1 underscore three, dialogue. 12v1 underscore three. And same deal, I got Waves Tune real time open here. I'm just gonna do VON to jump to the table where all the parameters button are. Collapse, disclosure triangle. And let's expand that. Expanding button, table, table, and table. Interact with that, speed, okay. Speed, 15.0 so millisecond slider, row one of 12. We have speed. Note transition, 120.0 millisecond slider. And note transition. So note transition you see is at 120, and I think note transition is what's gonna be equivalent to the response time and the logic one. And link on slash off, toggle button. You can link those two together as well. So uh, I'm going to jump to the bottom of this window where we have a root note and scale options. So VON. Scale root, A pop-up button. So you have your scale root. Scale type, chromatic pop-up button. 
and your scale type, right? So once again, this starts out on chromatic. As we know, this song is in E major, so I'm gonna Menu 44 space. item major. Press Select major. major. Scale type. Major pop-up button. Now something to Menu 40, natural mi harmonic minor, natural check mark, major, chromatic. So much like the logic one, you have chromatic, mark, major, major, natural minor, natural minor, harmonic minor, harmonic minor, melodic minor, ASE, melodic minor, ASE plus major just tonic. So you have a few different options. Melodic, here. Melodic, natural minor, check mark, major, chromatic, check mark, major. So let's press check major. mark, major. Now waves tune real time, as far as I can tell, unlike the logic one, at least visible in controls view, you're not able to go ahead and tell it to ignore certain notes or to pay attention to certain notes. Like if you're singing a C sharp in the key of C, that part of it is not accessible like it is in the stock logic pitch correction. Those options don't seem to show up to us in controls view with waves tune real time. So the next step, now that we have this set to major, Scale root, a pop -up button. we want to select the key and this Menu is 17, a number, B, 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 and check off, G, num, G, G, B, F number, F, E, echo. There we go, E. Press, E, echo. Scale root, E pop-up button. All right, so now we have this in E major. So right now, this is disabled. So let's hear what this sounds like again. Can we forget about the things I said when I was drunk? I didn't mean to call you that. I can't remember what was said or what you threw with me. All right. Select, bypass, toggle button. And now we got it enabled. Can we forget about the things I said when I was drunk? I didn't mean to call you that. I can't remember what was said or what you threw with me. I will say, Waves Tune Real Time is probably the most natural if you're not going for that auto tune. If you're not going for that hard tune thing, it's the easiest way to get that most transparent pitch correction. Now, one thing to be aware of, you want to get Waves Tune real time. Waves Tune and Waves Tune Lite or Waves Tune LT are not accessible. So you want to be sure that you pick up Waves Tune real time or Waves Tune RT as it's also known. So that's the version you want to pay attention to. Now, let's go ahead and look at the transition speed. Scale root, E pop-up button. Jump back up to the top here. Speed, 15, no transition, 120.0 millisecond slider. And no transition. Let's crank in, this no, down. No, 120 point in slider. So I'm going to turn this all the way down to zero again so we can compare. All right. Out of slot, no 0.1 milliseconds, slider. So now our note transition is 0.1 milliseconds. Can we forget about the things I said when I was drunk? I didn't mean to call you that. I can't remember what was said or what you threw with me. Please tell me. So that's how you can get this one to also kind of do the auto tune thing. So now you might want to mess with this note transition speed to kind of get it to do the right thing. In slider, 0 0.2 milliseconds, 0 0.3 milliseconds. Crank this back up to 120. 119, 120.0 milliseconds. Out of slider, no trend, 120.0 milliseconds. Slider. Right. So we got this back where we started at 120. And I find for the most part with this one, unless there's a problematic spot, just setting this to 120, if someone's already a decent enough singer, just just kind of smooth them out a little bit and it's really natural and transparent and you don't have to worry about it. So if that's your goal, if transparency is your goal, then Waves Tune Real Time may be worth a look for you. Another thing to be aware of is this one, uh, Waves Tune Real Time, also has the reference pitch. So if you're working with something other than uh, a equals 440, you can change that as well. So next up, let's bypass this and move on to the next now one. Now in, now, 12 v one on toolbar, bypass, toggle button. All right, so now we got Autotune Access open. Autotune Access is the least expensive version of Autotune, and if it's around Black Friday time still, this is on sale for $29, and Wavetune RT on Black Friday for $29 as well so they're both the same price right now normally autotune access is more expensive there'll be links to all of these in the description below as well now let's take a look at autotune access so once again we're going to jump to the end of this window where we can see our parameters button collapsed disclosure triangle let's be a space expanding button expand that table key see pop-up button selected first thing we see here in is table. a key. key see pop-up key see pop-up button and one of so let's Menu change this to echo Press E. E. Echo. Key. E pop-up button. Row one of 20 cell two items. Because we know we want E major. A number. Removed selected radio button. One of two. Enabled radio button. Two of two. 
D. Remove selected radio button. Hold note shown. Toggle button. C number. Remove radio button. One of two. Enable selected radio button. Two of two. So you see, this has the same option that the Logic Pitch Correction plugin has, where you can go in and tell it what notes you want it to pay attention to, even if you give it a key of a song. So like I was saying, if you do sing a C sharp in a key of C major and you want it not to try to fix that C sharp, you can tell it, hey, C sharp is allowed, which is something you have access to in Autotune Access and the Logic Standard Pitch Correction, which you do not have access to in Waves Tune real time in Controls View. All right, so let's continue here. We picked our key, but now we need to find the scale option. B, remove D number, remove G, remove F number, G number, D, remove scale, major pop-up button. All right, so it's on major by default. So like this one comes up on C major. So I just had to switch it over to E major. Now this one, Autotune Access does give you some limited options. Menu three items, check mark, check mark, major. Because you only get major, minor, minor chromatic. and chromatic. chromatic. Now, that being said, you may not need anything more than these three. So let's go back and minor. select check mark, major. major. Press check mark, major. Scale, right. major pop up button. Row 12 of 20. So next thing down. Tracking, normal radio button. One of two. Choosy selected radio button. Is tracking. So tracking, choosy is basically the default. That's going to be a little bit more picky. Normal is what is called relax. If your breaths and other noise in a track is kind of triggering the auto tune, you can try normal and see how that works out for you. So we're going to leave it on choosy for now. Settings, selected radio button. C, remove selected radio button. One of two, master bypass, toggle button. A, remove radio button. Retune speed, fast slider. All right, retune speed is the next thing we're going to look at, and this is similar to the response time in the Logic Pitch Correction plugin or the note transition in Waves Tune Real Time. And you'll see by default this is on fast. Retune speed, fast slider. Now, Autotune Access gives you fast, medium, and slow. Fast is about 3 milliseconds. Medium is, I believe, around 25 milliseconds, and slow is about 65 milliseconds. So if I play this right now, it will be more of that autotune type effect humanize off slider and then humanize but this is the last parameter we're going to look at here and what humanize does it allows you if you want it to sound more natural when there's a sustained note you want to crank the humanize up so humanize gives you free options off minimum and maximum so you can turn up the humanize to minimum or maximum if you want it to sound more natural when someone's holding a note um, and not sound as autotuned so once again, let's go bypass and unbypass this. Like I said, right now, the retune speed is on fast. Autotune comes up with the retune speed on fast by default. They probably assume that if you're using autotune, you might want that autotune effect. But if you're more going after the natural thing, you can set this to slow and then save it as your default preset. So when you load this, it comes up with a more natural setting out of the box. All right, so right now this is off. So let's give this a listen again. Can we forget about the things I said when I was drunk? I didn't mean to call you that. And now let's go ahead and turn Select, this on. Can we forget about the things I said when I was drunk? I didn't mean to call you that. I can't remember what I said or what you threw at me. All right, so let's mess with the retune speed. Retune speed, fast slider. All right, so this retune fast speed, slider. it's on fast. Now, this is a slider, and you need to interact and do VO left to take it down to medium or slow. You're going to have to hold down VO left arrow for a while to get this to medium. So I'm just going to do that, and I'll probably edit out me holding this down while it slides over just to make this tutorial keep moving. Medium. Now some medium. Can we forget about the things I said when I was drunk? didn't mean to call you that I can't remember what I said or what you threw at me So you see that's already sound a little Medium. bit more natural. Let's take this all the way down to slow. Slow. Alright, so here we got it on slow. Can we forget about the things I said when I was drunk? I didn't mean to call you that can't remember what I said or what you threw with me. Please tell me. All right. Out of slider. And now, humanize. Off slider. Humanize. Off. Slider. Let's In turn slider. this Off. up a little bit. So let's put this on minimum. Same deal here. View right. Hold it down until it gets to the value you want. Min. All right. So right now, some minimum. Can we forget about the things I said when I was drunk? 
I didn't mean to call you that I can't remember what was said or what you threw at me Please tell me Alright, so that's minimum, so let's try it on maximum Min Max. Can we forget about the things I said when I was drunk? I didn't mean to call you that can't remember what was said or what you threw at me. Please tell me. Can we forget about the things I said when I was drunk? I didn't mean to call you that. I can't remember what was said or what you threw at me. Please tell me. All right, so there you have it. So as I said earlier, there are usually three or four parameters you need to pay attention to in most of these pitch correction plugins. You want to set the plugin to use the key of the song, so you got to figure out the key to song. If it's a cover, it's as simple as just Googling the name of the song and what key is it in. If it's an original, there are apps out there that can help you with that, one of them being Auto Key, and Auto Key is also on sale for Black Friday. Um, so you can pick up Auto Key and Auto Tune Access if you're interested. And the nice thing about Auto Key is it's not fully accessible, but you can use it with VOCR. You can get the key of your song, and you can send that information automatically to any instance of Auto Tune that is in the project. You're gonna need to know the key of the song so you can set the scale and the root key of the song, and then the response time, the note transition time, or the retune speed. Those are all the same thing uh, the faster it is the more hard tune the more of that auto tune effect you're going to have the slower it is the more natural it's going to be play with it to find something that suits what you're working on now the thing to remember with tune and vocals is that one setting may not fit all even in the same song so what you may end up having to do is split up the different regions that you want to tune differently onto different tracks and then put your different instances of whatever pitch correction plugin that you're using on those tracks and then adjust the parameters to work with those different parts of the song. And then once you have it all done, just bounce those all in place so that you don't have all those pitch correction plugins using up resources when you're working on the rest of the track. And once again, like I said, I normally will edit my vocals and edit out the breaths and stuff like that or minimize the breaths and stuff like that before I tune them. And then other than that, the pitch correction plugin is the thing that will go on first before any other processing, before any EQ compression, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the other thing to be aware of is if you want that auto-tune effect, sometimes it's handy to do a proper transparent pitch correction and then put in a second instance of the pitch correction plugin on and set that one up to do the R-tune auto-tune t-pain type effect so that way you usually get a cleaner result if you if you do that sometimes now you can use two different plugins so like you can use waves tune for the natural one and then auto-tune for the hard tuning or you can use flex pitch first if you follow the link to tutorial in the description below and then use one of the pitch correction plugins for the hard tuning part of it it doesn't matter how you do it but that's something you want to keep in mind as well. So right now we got all the pitch correction off and I'll just play them again since we have all of these kind of set up for natural vocal correction as opposed to our tuning. I'll just go ahead and play these again so you can kind of get a feel how they compare to each other. So I'm going to start with the raw vocal. Can we forget about the things I said when I was drunk? I didn't mean to call you that. I can't remember what was said or what you threw at me. Please tell me. Pitch correction from Logic. Can we forget about the things I said when I was drunk? I didn't mean to call you that. I can't remember what was said or what you threw at me. Please tell me. Waves tune. Can we forget about the things I said when I was drunk? I didn't mean to call you that. I can't remember what was said or what you threw at me. Please tell me. Auto tune. Can we forget about the things I said when I was drunk? 
I didn't mean to call you that I can't remember what was said or what you threw at me Please tell me So there you have it. That gives you a little comparison of how they do on somewhat of a transparent setting if that's what you're going for with your pitch correction. One last thing I want to show you is that you can use these while you are tracking. So if you want to hear autotune while you're recording your vocals, then put one of these on the track and put monitor track and enable it. Uncheck bypass, check box. So now I'm going through the logic pitch correction. Check bypass, check box. And there's going to be kind of a doubling effect also because you're going to hear your on process vocal along with the tune pitch vocal. Insert bar. Waves tune. Groove. But when you play it back, you'll only hear the tune vocal. In waves bypass. Check. Uncheck bypass. Check box. And this is now with waves tune. Check bypass. Auto waves. Insert bar. Auto tune. In auto bypass. Check. Uncheck bypass. Check box. And check in out auto tune. Check so bypass. You check box. You can work with these and while you're recording your vocals as well. And the nice part about it is then after you record your vocals, you can still open up these plugins and change the parameters and set them up to work the way you want them to work. So that's pretty much it. That is a pitch correction, the Logic Pitch Correction plugin, and then two alternative waves tune real time and auto tune access, which are both currently the same price for Black Friday. Choose based on what you like if you want super pristine uh, transparency and sounding natural is your thing waves tune real time might be more your speed you can definitely get the hard tune auto tune t-paints type effect with it but i think that's something auto tune does best and if you can get auto tune for the right price then that might be the way to go now waves tune real time generally is normally a little bit less expensive than auto tune access so if you get Wavetune real time, the Autotune bundle might be worth it for you. Uh, Autotune Unlimited, it's a subscription bundle that gives you all the versions of Autotune, including Autotune Pro and all the AVOX vocal effects as well, which there is some cool stuff in there like Mutator to uh, really mess with your voice, a vocal compressor, deesser, etc. The other cool thing that's included in that bundle is Harmony Engine, and that's great for creating harmonies as well. So that might be another option is autotune unlimited that is also going to be on sale for black friday for about 50 percent off the normal subscription price so that might be something else to look into as well so that's pretty much it for this one if you got any questions about pitch correction drop a comment below i can do a demo of the autotune auto key if you want to see how that works if you end up picking that stuff up for black friday so drop a comment down below and let me know if that's something you'd like to see me cover in a future tutorial as well also let me know which one of these pitch correction plugins you thought was your favorite the logic one the waves tune real time or autotune access and if there is another pitch correction plugin you like feel free to let the community know what's accessible in the comments below as well hope you found that useful and helpful and as always if you want to support the channel visit logic.band support and drop a donation you can also subscribe to support the channel on an ongoing basis similar to how patreon is you can subscribe at logic.band support and just support the channel with an ongoing donation also, don't forget to join the mailing list, and that way I can send you a free Getting Started With Logic course. I can keep you updated, and I am getting ready to put together some exclusive mailing list stuff. So join the mailing list if you want to see some of that stuff coming up. And also, don't forget to book some one-on-one -on -one training with me at logic.band slash training. That's logic.band slash training training that's it for this one hope everyone is having a happy holiday season and until next time happy recording